and in guns will not prevent school shootings. Can you hear my dog, my bodyguard, my dog barking? Now, why does it bark? I want to raise your hands at once. Did it see something um, out of the ordinary, out of its routine? Does it hear something like that? See something, smell something? Unknown noise? Why is a dog like that? Why do people have uh, guard dogs on their properties or businesses? Yes, little Timmy, raise your hand. Well, it's because in case someone breaks in and like wants to steal their stuff or like rob the place from the back entrance or something. <clears throat> Good answer, Timmy. That's uh, one possibility. So what you're saying is, there's bad people out there. Bad things could happen. No, 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 no. I, uh, I didn't mean that. Um, 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 maybe they just like dogs. Maybe they just want to have a pet. Maybe they just want to have a friend. No, 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 no. Hold on, Timmy. Don't fucking backtrack. Be a fucking wimp. Stick with your fucking word. I don't like you if uh, you have a problem with guns. That's just my opinion. You could download the video if you'd like and people comment that I'm a fucking gun nut. But I recommend you listen. Nope, I'm not gonna inflict pain on you for disagreeing with you. <clears throat> for disagreeing with me. I tell you why you may like guns. If you, if you like these drawings, this, this drawing channel, or this channel that shows my drawings and all the shit talking. This exists because I'm here. And I wouldn't be here if a while back when some punks, three punks, tried to, tried, tried to rob me. Bigger and stronger than me. I knew that uh, physically a fight, yeah, I'm gonna get my ass fucking crushed. But no, I pull out my sidearm. and made them appreciate life. Made them realize how they fucked up. And that set up other, uh, other bullshit. Cause a chain, it's called a chain of events. Of foolishness. Now that's my own person. That's one of my one of my stories. Um, yeah, another time, uh, my friend almost got stabbed, stabbed to death. Crazy customer, not happy. Pulls out his knife. I still can't shoot him. 
because um, the person has not uh, has not jumped the counter the counter of the store and um, pursued uh, my friend. Yeah, he was a store owner. He had his own sidearm too. I just had to didn't want to be inconvenient, so I said I'll take care of it. It's interesting seeing all these badasses, bullies, punks, bitches cry, whimper, have their butthole pucker up and their fucking balls shrivel up. It's interesting. Very interesting. But in all those times, um, it was uh, self-defense. And I've used my um, my firearm to save other people's lives before too. More than more than another time, more than once again. And it sort of feels like you know why why do I need to explain myself? You know I ain't no fucking bitch ass motherfucker that says oh someone ought to take care of that someone ought to do something about that again as I've said you're correct when you say somebody ought to do that because you you're acting like a nobody like a punk when you say that when you say shit like that oh man there's a problem shit needs to get done roger that let's go I'm pretty sure that the uh, civilians cannot own a 50 caliber machine gun, not just in America, just for the fuck of it. I'm pretty sure you would need permits because I've seen people with many guns. But I believe um, last time I mentioned Mexico, guns and ammo are illegal in Mexico. Check out the Live Leak or Grionatas YouTube channel. Maybe you come across the Mexican that's uh, shooting a 50 caliber machine gun mounted on a truck, chasing around other trucks, other people, and shooting at them. Is it over 100 million guns already are already on the streets of America or well, out, out in public? You know, maybe you live in a fucking sheltered area. Maybe you're one of these punk ass bitches, fucking lame cowards that just wakes up, puts on their fucking clown outfit, puts on their fake up, puts on their monkey suit. Practices their fake smiling. Goes to a job only because it's paying them. And you only work there because you're a punk and you're too scared to make it happen. Or are you a fucking, even if you run your own business, are you a dictator? A dictator with, a, with no balls that just roars like a lion, but it's really a fucking big pussycat. Demands more out of other people than their own than their own self. <clears throat> I really would like to say that in America I could uh, say, oh, did I lock the front door? Did I lock the back door? Did I lock all the windows? 
We're thinking what did I lock the car when I leave it when I left it on the street? From all my windows rolled up. And I think it'd be uh more pleasant if I could actually not think about that. Oh I parked this way. I know the shortcut to this dark alley. No wait. Common sense, people, niggers, spicks, rednecks, white trash. All sorts of shit out there. So let's ban guns, let's ban dogs, let's ban um, locks on doors because those are racist and let's just, um, you know what, just let's ban cash registers at uh, grocery stores, just put it in a, people are hungry and you know, put it on people's goodwill, good heart to pay back the store. Obviously, you don't need guns because people should just not be killing people. <clears throat> you know how you can tell you're in a fucked up neighborhood? When you go to a... Um, a restaurant a store and it's um bulletproof glass right there. I remember going to I'm trying to think was it a jack in the box? I think it was a jack in the box. And it was century. Gangster as fuck man. Here's a simple challenge I put to people. Wherever you live, I recommend you, wherever you sleep at night, wherever your bed is, or wherever, or even if you're fucking sleep on a train, right? The last place you slept. Get on your Google Maps. Think of a fireball radius of where you're at. And walk five miles in one direction. I'm not gonna get sued for this, but be careful, kids, if you're out there doing this, you know, go during the daytime, look both ways where you cross the street, and you know, don't be a dumbass, pack a lunch and tell everyone where you're going. I'd recommend you do that. Just go five miles in one direction. Especially if you live in a big city. Just take a guess how long it'll take you to run into trouble. Just, uh, just days ago, man. I like walking my dog wherever the fuck I want <laughs> in public. No, no, no. I'm not gonna fucking tell you. Get out, get out of my way. Move, motherfucker. No, no, no. Respect the road. Share the road. Or respect the sidewalk. Share the sidewalk. 
been seeing three fucking motherfuckers waiting in the dark side of the street yeah, behind a bus stop with their hoodies on whispering yeah man yeah you got a big dog man in my opinion they were sizing me up to see if uh, I would be their victim in my opinion but you know there's a, this is a a land of innocent until proven guilty so don't do that or you're a racialist alright fucker let me put on a fucking hoodie you go hang out on your sidewalk in front, in front of your home in the bushes behind the tree just watch you There's nothing wrong with that hey man I'm just uh, enjoying for some fresh air I'm pretty sure you're gonna feel all fine Bad shit happens out there, man. And I walked a lot, a lot of uh, the area from Tijuana to Vancouver, Canada. Stepped on that shit. So I tell you from experience. <laughs> 